Hi guys and welcome to The Real Road. I'm finally back after a few months of not recording any vlogs because I've been pretty busy just sorting out general life stuff and getting on top of, well, you know, everything. So here in this short vlog is a little look at some of the things I've been up to over the last few months, whether that be chilling out, doing work, dressing up as a crazy dancing robot, yes, that was me at the start, or recording monologues for the new minute monologue challenge I started. Hope you enjoy. Who should I complain? Or did I tell this? Who would believe me? Oh, perilous mouths that bear in them one and the self-same tongue, either a condemnation or a proof, bidding the law make curtsy to their will, hooking both right and wrong to the appetite to follow as it draws. Ah, oh, to my brother, though he hath fallen by prompture of the blood, yet hath he in him such a mind of honour that had he twenty heads to tender down on twenty bloody blocks, he'd yield them up before his sister should her body stoop to such a bored pollution. Then, Isabel lived chaste. Her brother died. <laughs> More than our brother is our chastity. I would tell him yet of Angelo's request. It fit his mind to death. For his soul's rest. I've arrived at our new venue for the Acting Hour networking event, which is at a pub called The Miller. Um, it's our first one doing tickets because we've only got space for 70 people, so it's exclusive now, guys. Get your tickets. Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, it's really cool, actually. I like the space. It's like this. This is the coolest part of the room. Right, okay, second coolest part of the room. You can see here on the wall, there are like holes. It's like the Mona Lisa on the other side, so you can totally spy on the pub. So that's quite cool. Uh, and the other thing in here is really, really cool, is there is a table football table. Oh, Vince, say hello. Hey guys. Uh, we're gonna play table football before everyone arrives. <laughs> Sometimes I just really struggle to get out of bed in the morning or the afternoon. I mean, it's not as if I don't want to go and spend time with my friends and family or go to work. It's just that, I don't know, I just sort of lie there thinking about the things I need to do to get ready. But I don't actually do them. And then before I know it, I've run out of time. And... I couldn't bear the idea of being late, so I'm sending messages to explain fake reasons why I can't make it this time. I mean, if the trains aren't running, or had a family emergency, or something's just come up. I mean, I wanted to go, I did. I just, I can't seem to make myself get up and do it. I think I need some help. And the hall is painting. Look at this. So weird. So terrific. But can you get closer? The magic is revealed. Ah, oh, so cool. So I'm outside the BFI, woo! Um, have just been to a networking and film screening event called Soul Celebrate Connect, um, which celebrates like uh, BAME. Uh, artists, whether that be filmmakers or just anyone kind of involved with the filmmaking process. Um, and it's really cool. It was a lovely, lovely, friendly event. It was nice to watch the films. It was nice to meet new people. Uh, I met some really, really cool people that I'm looking forward to keeping in touch with. And it was just a genuinely cool event. So that was nice to go to. Um, I've got some people that I'm going to message because I want to see like their future work when they do it. And, and now I'm going to go hunting for some dinner because in true typical actor, busy person fashion, I have no food in my flat, like at all, because I'm always busy working. I'm going to feed myself, guys, I promise. Uh, I'm going to go find the train.